The second thing is to rehearse a little story about the cross. I mentioned this yesterday and got quite a response. So can I ask, has anybody collected a cross, is recognising this cross? Okay, that's really good. Well, let me tell you that this story is that um, we've been renovating this college over many years and bringing it up to scratch. And again, apologies for the showers that will be warm next year. But uh, last summer, we went into our main lecture theatre, uh, lecture room, and we decided to, to renovate that. And some of you might have had seminars in there in the last uh, few days. To do that, we had to completely gut the room and start again. And to do that, we had to rip up the parquet flooring. It was all going to be skipped. And I looked at this and I said, hold on, hold on, there's money in this. And so I, I said, no, you're not, you're not pitching that away. I just put up a little note on, on Facebook thinking, well, I could sell one of these sticky brick things. Maybe somebody would remember and say, oh, I remember I was a student there. And so I just said, anybody want to buy a brick? Because it looked like a brick. It was a, a slab of parquet flooring with a sticky bitumen on the back, which used to be the thing that held it to the ground. Peter Nelson came back to me and said, well, actually, Ian, Thanks for your little message, but if you want to, I could make a few crosses out of that. So Peter Nelson came round to the college and started taking bags of this stuff away. Bags and bags. His poor car was like this. And he hid himself in a shed at the bottom of his garden for months and months and months. His wife didn't see him for ages, thought he died or something like this. <laughs> but he was carving away. He has the photographic proof of this. And he's produced about a thousand of these crosses. This floor went down in 1906, and it's been down for 110 years. This floor went down as part of what we call the Thomas Champness Memorial Wing. Over this floor, all the worthies of this college have lectured and preached and prayed. All the students of the college, all the way up to 2016, have been lectured and have shared and given testimony over that flooring. Many of them have cleaned it, some not so well. <laughs> and so what Peter did is he shaved off the bitumen and he made all these crosses. And so what we're doing here is we're saying if there's anybody here who's been a college student who's used that room and can remember it, can smell it, because you can smell the lecture room when you smell it. It smells of bitumen. <laughs> then you can go and claim it from the Cliff College stand. If you know of people, maybe your fathers, your uncles, your mothers who've been here and you think, do you know, they've not been able to come to Cliff, they're of that age now, but it would be good if they could get a bit of Cliff College back, then go and claim it. It's free for you to pass on. Or you know of a student, you've got that man in your church, I think he came to Cliff, take him that with our love. If you want a piece of this history, but you want to invest in the future, then go and claim a cross and say, I'll give you a fiver or a bit more, and that will invest in the future. So that's the cross. But I'm very happy tonight, and I'm going to try and find him now, that Peter Nelson is here. Where is he? Stand up, brother. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this man. He's, I've not brought him up here. I thought it would be too much. But he's been visiting and bringing me boxes of these crosses for months and months. But more importantly, he came with a story. He showed me some photographs. He might be around to show these photographs later. Photographs of his family, because what's his connection with this college, this gentleman here? Back in 1924, correct, Peter? He's got photographs of his family. Who were, who were on that picture? Grandfather, father, uncle, uncle, aunt. Grandfather, father, uncle, aunt, on a picture in 1924, coming to a summer school here at the college. They were part of it. In the 1950s, there's a picture of a little boy called Peter <laughs> coming through the entrance to the college, yeah? In the 1950s. Were you coming to hear Billy Graham at that time? 
54, okay? So shortly after that, because you've got a picture, I think, of the Billy Graham rally. But in the 1950 shot that he has, he's a little boy, and in the same picture is a little girl. That little girl is called Brenda. His wife is sat next to him. <laughs> so thankfully, you know, his wife is not lost to him and he's not lost to his wife. They're together here. But that's a gift to the college, Peter. And that's a gift to those of us who know the importance of this place. And it is, a, after all, just a bit of wood. But it is more than that. And it is a gift. So thank you for, for all your work in doing that. Just the last bit of the story is that he said nobody's really become a student here out of his family. Well, it's not true. If they come to a summer school, they were a student. His grandson, David Cocaine, came a few years ago. He was one of my students. I hear that last week, so he was a very successful student coming through a youth work course and then a BA in mission and ministry, which he got a very good degree. And I hear that just last week he's been received for Anglican training as a, an Anglican vicar.